What's going on YouTube? It's your boy DIY Kari coming back to you with another video. Today we're going outside the box. As y'all know, I always have been reviewing since I started Jordans and Nike. But today we got something different from my good people over at shoepop.ru. One of the people that also helped me start out reviewing these UA shoes for y'all. But before we get into that, y'all know this is an informational video. This is my opinion only. Everything in this video is my opinion only. So y'all can have y'all opinion. Y'all can get in the comments. Y'all can talk crap like I dealt with in that last video that I said was controversy because of the name, because of what happened with the shoes. If y'all haven't seen that video, I will have a link above. That video is going to be the military blues. Just watch the video, read the comments. You'll see what I'm talking about. But that is beside the point. This is another day, a new shoe. So without further ado, make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe to the channel, especially if you like the video. Subscribe to the channel because there's so many people that have been watching. And you've not subscribed. I can I think it's like 90% of y'all not subscribed, but y'all watching every single video. So just subscribe to the channel. It is free to you and likes help me help y'all continue making these videos. But like I said, we went outside the box with these. Thanks again to my good people over at shoepop.ru for sending these over. That's going to be that information. Shoepop.ru. Discount code is going to be DIY. $15 off Instagram. And that's their WhatsApp also. Let me just show you all the box. See how far I went outside the box. How far I went outside my comfort zone. <sighs> yes, yes, yes. It is a Louis Vuitton box. And this is a huge box. I just see it got a little dean right there, but like I said, this is a huge box. And there is more involved within this box. Dust bags. With inside the dust bag, plastic. And the box that has Louis Vuitton on top. There is the shoe outside of the plastic. And this is going to be the LV Arc Light Sneaker. The reason I went with these, the reason why I actually like these, is because it reminds me of the DC shoes. Y'all don't know, y'all too young. DCs came out when I was back in I think, middle school. That's why I like these. As you see, it is stuff with paper. I'll get that out right now. Cause it makes your shoe look a little bit more bulkier than it is. But starting with the bottom, you see it got baton on it. Got all the branding, stars. Like all the materials on this is so on point. I gotta get y'all a close up. It's so many different materials on here. And the branding is on point. As you can see, it's a baton logo. All the way around the foot, even the bottom. That is not stars, that is the baton logo. And you see the logo right here. Lateral side, they got the branding. All that's good. There's no stitching, no smell, no nothing with the shoe, which I never had that issue with shoe pop. So I ain't got no complaints there. You got the size and the serial number, the baton insole, which I think I can pull out. Got little baton on the bottom. And this this caught me off guard. I didn't even I'm just now seeing that. This is my first time looking at them. 
As y'all can see, under the insole, they have the Louis Vuitton logos. That's crazy. That's that's nuts. But as as always, like like I said, Shoe Pop did it right. On the back, you got since nineteen not eighteen since eighteen fifty four with the Vuitton in the middle. You got the Louis Vuitton pull tab. Back to the front, you got pull tab here too. And under that tab, you got another logo with the LV and Vuitton right below that. Man, like I said, this is out of my comfort zone. I never thought I would actually start reviewing these, but something about these caught my eyes, which is why I want to review them. And I cannot forget the thick laces. You know, as far as I'm concerned, that's like the new style now. Every shoe's ha coming out with thick laces. So they couldn't not put them in here. <laughs> Every designer shoe, there's even Nike, Reebok, all of them come out with thick laces. So it's all fair to put them in these, especially because it's a skate shoe. And I almost missed that, which is a ton. Another branding. Like I said, this is super out of my comfort zone. Go ahead and show y'all the other shoe. We can run through that real quick. Because it's going to be the same as the other one. As y'all see right off the bat, the thick laces. This does have this on it, which I don't know what this is. But it has that. Branding, always good. Same thing on the bottom. The time, branding right here. And you got the branding that look like stars, but it's not. It's actually the Vuitton logo. Same thing around the front. And again, no smell, no glue lines. All good. But like I said, there's more that come with the box. We also have a care booklet, how to take care of your shoes. And what I paid. <laughs> but this is like a thing about how much you paid. And yeah. That came in the box also. But let me know what y'all think about these in the comments below. Like I said, this is definitely out of my comfort zone. But as always, Shoe Pop did a great job on the materials. No smells, no glue lines, no nothing. But I, like I said, I never had an issue with none of the shoes that they sent me. All of the shoes have always been on point. Just so y'all can... No, I'm not lying because you know I don't smell the shoes if they have a smell. I'm not putting my nose to them. But these are legit. If you like them, all the information will be in the description below. Along with my discount code. And like I said, y'all like the video, comment below. Give me a thumbs up. Get, leave a little small comment. If you don't like it, still leave a comment. Let me know what I need to change, what I forgot. Oh, to let y'all know, these do fit true to size. This is a size Euro 44, which is size 10. Same size I wear in Jordans and Nikes. They do fit true to size. But besides that, all in all, everything is great. Material is good. No smell, no glue lines. Brand is on point. Everything is on point. So, get in the comments below. Let me know what y'all think about these. Because I said these are out, are out of my comfort zone. So, it's, it's real different for me. But I like them. Like I said, they remind me of the DC shoes. Which was skate shoes back when I grew up. So, 
with that being said, I'm gonna get up out of here. This is my DIY Kari. Thanks again for watching, coming back to the channel. Leave a comment, like, subscribe. You know what to do. Thanks. Peace.